G'day. There's a little tour of my uh, final, well I hope it's the final one, the final system. I might do one more reinstall on these little hook systems um, in order to get them really solid in there. Right now they're just two screws. So I've got my fancy new cam, cam jam cleats. Took off the centre cleat because it was in the centre without even testing it because I know it's going to suck. These have a pretty easy one handed operation. They're like good cleats. The cleat is strong enough to break the boom in half. This is how I like it. I'd rather replace a boom than a cleat because I don't pay for booms. It's just like some nice bits of wood that I recycle off stuff. So there you go, that's how the system works. Start along. Oops, today we change tack. Here we go, changing tack. Because it's a small sail, you can just do it like this. The system is highly unrecommended for a decent sized sail, for a big sail. So that's my initial sail. It's in a Bermudan rig, which is the wrong kind of rig. But that's the one I've got, so that's the one I'm going to use first. Um, Bermudan's the wrong kind because there's too much boom on it. And you don't get the, the windage like up here, you can imagine. It would have like a, um, a large centre pattern and a slightly more upswept boom. This is a somewhat upswept boom. So I can do low angle paddling with this boom here. It's not really too much of a problem. Get my hand under here. So there you go, chores. I'll um, hopefully take it out for a bit of a sail sometime before too long. There's another way that you can operate this system, of course. You can pass it through the traveller such that it um, pulls downwards slightly more centred. Yeah, so if I was going upwind, not that it's going to work very well on this, I don't think. That's probably what it do. And um, if it looks promising enough, I might put another hook here and here, or maybe just a central eye, like a big eye that will be real easy to feed it through if I'm doing a whole bunch of upwind tacking. And then I can just run it from here. That's probably actually the way I'd do it. It's just a basic central eye. If I was going to do that. Which I don't need to put another deck fitting on because what I can do is I can just have a real short range traveller going from these lifeline fittings. So that's cool. I can just do all that with um, you know rope, a couple of knots, and a little a little block. I probably already got a block that would do that nicely. Choice one. Oh yeah, block is a pulley. As you don't know, not necessarily a pulley with wheels in it. It can be like like um, something like that that the line just runs through and it's nice and roundy. They make fine blocks. So this is cool, this is cool, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on it. Oh, I'm going to be stoked on the next rig. But it'll be the same deck fittings, these good old things. They're quite expensive these. The most expensive part of the rig. Those little things, but... Although, I, you know, I could have made cleats easily enough. It would have been very difficult for me to make cleats that work as easily as these ones do. And that's what I want, an easy one-handed operation. Good safety. Yeah, choice. Alright.